Hello, this is Sean Kadim, Seekonk Town Administrator. Hopefully you and your family had a wonderful holiday. I want to take the opportunity to really reach out to you again and talk about some important things that we need to address to slow the spread of COVID-19. Together we have done a great job of slowing the spread between March and June. But most recently we've seen a significant uptick in our rates. Our positivity rate over a two week period is now at 16%, the highest in the state. And together, by taking some small actions, we can make a big difference. I just want to remind folks that if we take the necessary precautions, we follow state and federal guidelines, we wash our hands, we wear facial masks, and we avoid large crowds, this will make a big difference in slowing the spread of COVID-19. We can only do this together. You will be hearing from Chief Isabella, our new police chief, Chief Rave, our new fire chief, Brian Dowling, our interim health director, and they have a few words and, and suggestions on how we can slow the spread of COVID-19. I hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Brian. I'm the assistant health agent for the town of Seekonk. And as this year comes to an end and the holiday season is upon us, household spread has become associated with the most cases of confirmed COVID-19 in the state of Massachusetts. And we just want everyone to know that everyone does have in their power the ability to contribute to the reduction in the spread of this virus by adhering to state guidelines. In addition to limiting, limiting household gatherings this holiday season, answering the call when contacted by a local board of health, state healthcare professional or contact tracer is extremely important. As this is one of the most important tools used to help stop the spread of COVID-19 throughout our community. Please continue to adhere to good public health practices by wearing a mask or facial covering when you're not in your home, Practice social distancing, frequently wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer when available, and stay home if you are not feeling well and contact your healthcare professional. This holiday season and thereafter, everyone is urged to limit health holiday gatherings to only include members of your immediate household. When gathering with non-household members, gatherings are limited to 10 individuals indoors and 25 individuals outdoors. But again, all people are urged to keep their holiday gatherings to include only members of your immediate household. You can include other family, friends, and loved ones safely by utilizing different technological solutions, including phone, video calls, and or Zoom and Skype type meetings. Safety should be the most important aspect of your holiday planning this season. If you do decide to have a holiday gathering, some basic safety precautions should be taken. Social distancing is required between individuals that are not of the same household, although everyone should practice this to the best of their ability. Encourage and require the use of facial masks or coverings when not actively eating or drinking for all individuals over the age of five years old. Encourage frequent hand washing and provide hand sanitizer when possible. Improve air ventilation where possible and when weather allows by opening windows and doors. The travel order does apply to individuals attending a gathering in Massachusetts from out of state if they're traveling from a high risk community. So it is very important to comply with that travel order. All gatherings are required to disperse by 9.30 p.m. per the governor's executive order. This is a special time of year for many people and the current situation with COVID-19 is going to require people to adjust their behavior and possibly change their plans altogether. It is important to know that every individual's actions can have the ability to adversely affect our neighbors, friends, and family, but our actions also have the ability to positively impact the progression of this pandemic in our community. Please do your part this holiday season in keeping our community safe. Hello, I am Fire Chief David Rave, Chief of the Seekonk Fire Department. Today I want to share with you a few ways that we can prevent the spread of COVID-19 to other people if we are feeling ill or think you may have the virus. First, if you are sick with COVID-19 or think you may have the virus, these steps you can take to protect other people from getting sick include staying at home and isolating yourself. You can stay at home, you wanna only leave home for medical care. You need to isolate yourself from others that are within your house, other family members, and you do this by either isolating to another room, when you come out, wear a mask and Keep your distance from those within the household. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue and wash your hands right away with soap and water. Avoid sharing 
other items with people within your home, personal items such as bedding and towels need to be separated. Also, when you wash dishes, wash dishes with hot water, detergent, or use of a dishwasher would help to eliminate the virus. If you find the need to call the fire department for emergency medical services, the dispatcher will ask you a series of questions. They will ask you if you are COVID positive. They will ask you if anyone in your family is COVID positive. If not, they will ask you if you have any symptoms. As they evaluate your answers, they will then dispatch us and let us know that there's a possibility of COVID within the household. First responders who arrive on scene will take precautions. They will wear N95 face masks, eye protection, gloves, and possibly gowns. All this will be done to protect the first responders as well as the patient from spreading COVID. For more tips, consult cdc.gov. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Chief Dean Isabella with the Seekonk Police Department. I'm here today to speak to you regarding uh, what you can expect uh, in this age of COVID when uh, you call for the police uh, to respond to either your residence or you have contact with the police. Uh, as you know, um, we are going to be utilizing best practices around COVID, so our officers will be wearing masks and we'll try to practice social distancing at any uh, point possible. Uh, there are also occasions where officers will be required to wear gloves, so um, you can expect that on occasion. Also, if you uh, are in a traffic stop with a, with a police officer, most likely they will ask you to display your license and your registration and insurance material through the window. And they will uh, probably not take a hold of that unless they can't read it through the window for some, for some reason. So that's what you can expect when dealing with the Seekonk Police Department during this time of COVID. Uh, we are available to respond to calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week as usual and we will do our best to continue to serve the public in the most professional manner possible. So thank you and be safe.